All right, Kenneth Russell here doing our first week of music theory uh, in this 12 week series going over the basics of contemporary music theory. We're going to start right here with learning the major scale formula and uh, we're going to use the, the keyboard here. I know that uh, some of you might be guitar players or other different instruments, but uh, the keyboard is the, the best ways, best place for, for us to start because it's laid out so well for us. Um, so right now we're just going to, really quickly, if you don't know your, your, uh, your, your, uh, the keyboard, you need to memorize it and get it down really well. But I'm going to just go ahead and, and write out here the, uh, the white notes. I'll write out a little bit of it here, F, G, A. All right, that gives you kind of an idea of, of the, uh, of the white notes here. And these black notes in between here are sharps and flats. So this is C sharp and or D flat. Okay, this is D sharp and E flat, so on and so forth. This would be A sharp or B flat. Um, so what do I mean by the major scale formula? Well, every everything that, that's played has, a, every, every key that you're in has a major scale that it's basically based off of. So whenever you're, whenever you're playing in a key, you're basically playing off of a scale. And if you're playing in a major key, you're, you're playing off of the major scale. So if you're in the key of C, the notes that you're generally hitting are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C again. Okay? And these are all white notes. And these are all the, uh, the naturals. Okay? And if you're playing in G, they're almost just all the naturals. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G. Now, it goes on to different ones. You know, the A has three sharps, the E has four sharps, the F has one flat. And uh, memorizing those can be kind of kind of daunting task. And so this is like the, the, the basic step of how to understand the, the major scale is to learn the major scale formula, okay? And so basically what it is, if, if we were to look at it from here, the major scale formula, if we were to translate these, let's just take the key of C right now. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm going to put eight and or one because sometimes we're going to think of it as an octave. Sometimes we're going to think of it as the next one starting over. So if we look at that, if we're looking at our numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and or one, put in the letter names C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. This is a, a formula of whole steps and half steps. Okay. So from the one to the two, we're going to look at as a whole step. W means whole. H means half. All right. So we're going to whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, and then a half step back to the eight in or one. Okay. Now, what is a whole step and a half step? Uh, a whole step is basically just going, well, let's go back. A half step is going one note to the note next to it. Okay, it's as simple as this. If you look at it on the keyboard, it'd be really easy. Instead of, I'm going to play a note instead of down here, I'm going to play it right here. So if I had to play this D, a, a half step up is just the, the note right next to it. Okay, if I had to play this C, a half step up is the note right next to it. C sharp. Okay, so if, generally speaking, if you're going up, you're going sharps. If you're going down, you're going flat. So this is C sharp and D flat. It's called an enharmonic, which means the same note, or, but two different names in it. So two names, one note is an enharmonic. <clears throat> okay, so for the most case, on most of these, they're, they're pretty easy. You know, you think, okay, C to C sharp, D to D sharp, F to F sharp, G to G sharp, A to A sharp. But then you've got these two problem areas right in here that don't have a black note or a sharp or flat in between it. So you've got the E, and there's no black note in between here. So it, for, for all intents and purposes, for contemporary music theory, there's no such thing as an E sharp. There is such thing as an E sharp, but for the way we're thinking about it, there isn't. Um, so there is no such thing as an E sharp, it's just an F. There's no such thing as an F flat, it's just an E. Same thing goes for the B and C. So you got, you know, there's no B sharp, it would just be a C. For, for, for most you know purposes that, that we're having. Uh, yet further into theory, there technically is such thing as like a C flat, but uh, we're just not gonna deal with that right now. Um, so this whole this formula of the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, we can apply to the C. So if we go C, okay, a whole step 
is going up two half steps, okay? So it makes, which makes sense, a half would be half of a whole. So we have C, half step up from C is C sharp, and half step from C sharp is D. So two halves make a whole. This is like second grade math here. So we have a whole step, okay? So a whole step up from D is E. Let's just say what's a whole step up from E? A whole step up from E, most people would, you know, when you're starting learning this, you go, oh, it's F, it's a white note. No. E, a whole step, is two half steps would be F sharp, okay? So if we're at F sharp, a whole step up from F sharp is G sharp. A whole step up from G sharp is A sharp. A whole step up from A sharp or B flat is C. So hopefully that makes sense on what the difference between a half step and a whole step is. So as we're applying this, you know, and we're going, you know, C to D is gonna be a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. Okay, you follow me? F to G is a half, a whole step. G to A, a whole step. A to B, a whole step. And this last half, B to C. So if you ever get confused on this, of like, I don't remember this, the, uh, the whole, whole half major scale formula, if you just look at the key of C, you can figure it out. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna apply this to a couple different keys. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead, let's take the, the key of A, okay? So whenever we're, we're talking about a key, and we say the, you know, the key of A or the A scale, what you need to do is just automatically put A as your first thing, okay? So we know that if we're in, talking about the A major scale, A is our one. Now back up here, we can always go ahead and write in A two, A also there, because we know that it's gonna start and end on the same note. Okay, so let's apply this formula. It was whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So let's go a whole step. What I like to do, you know, when you're just starting is go ahead and write out these things like this and write out my form, write out the formula underneath here. Half, whole, 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 half. All right. And that way there's just no confusion. One thing you don't want to do is, uh, is write out your numbers and then put the W right underneath your number, okay? Because you're starting at one place, you're moving a hole, and you're ending at another place. Um, it's just, it, you, you'll get confused if you do that. Um, so here we go, a whole step up from, from A is B, okay? A whole step up from B is not C, C sharp, okay? Are we noticing that? You guys just need to memorize, there's nothing in between B and C and E and F, okay? Now we're at C sharp, we're going a half step up from C sharp. What's a half step up? D, right here, okay? Go D, a whole step up from D is E, very good. Whole step up from E, see how that's a whole step? F sharp. Whole step up from F sharp, two half steps, G sharp, and then we already know it's gonna be A, but we can still do it, half step up from A, or G sharp is A. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. So you, this, this can be applied in uh, a bunch of different ways. You know, every single key, you know, you can start, uh, you can start on G and go up a whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. You can start on E, whole, whole, half whole, whole, whole half, okay? All of these happen. Now, a couple things to, to point out that's, that's very, very, very important for you to understand um, is that, that uh, you know, so there's, there's seven different notes in a scale, okay? You have like, we'll just go back to the key of C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and or one, okay? And that's why I always put eight slash one uh, when I'm writing it down because I don't want to just think of it as an eight. 
want to think of it as a one. So these are the same note. And this is called an octave when you're going from, you know, a note and then the next of that same note up, when you repeat it, is an octave. An octave from here is there, okay? An octave from G to G would be there. Hopefully that makes sense. That's an octave. And uh, basically an octave is using seven, uh, you know, going up uh, without any chromatic alterations, which would be stuff outside of the key, going up uh, seven different steps back up uh, back up to the one. Um, so okay, so let's just apply this to a couple different more examples, and uh, and we'll we'll get going. I'm going to show you kind of a, another way to to uh, to do this for you guys that might be a little bit more advanced. Uh, or might, it might just be easier for you to understand it this way. All right, let's let's uh, let's take the key of E, for instance, okay? What I'm going to do now is, this is an important concept, that every single note uh, has to be represented, every single letter name. Our musical alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all that we can write notes in is the, you know, the A, B, C, D, F, G, and sharps and flats with those, okay? So every letter name, so an E, an E flat, or an E sharp, has to be represented in every single key, okay? You're not gonna have a key that has uh, a B and a B flat in it, okay? So we can do this. We're gonna talk about, this is, we're, we're gonna do the key of E. Now I'm gonna just write out my letter names and then fill in the sharps or flats according, accordingly. So if I have E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, okay? I haven't applied the whole, whole half yet, but I know that, that these letter names are in the right order, okay? So let's, let's, let's take a look at this. We could go E, a whole step up to F sharp, okay? So we'll just go ahead and write in the sharp right there, okay? We went up a whole step, okay? Go up here. What are we going to go up? Another whole step, right? To what, we were at F sharp, and then we're gonna go up a whole step to G sharp, okay? Now, say I decided that I wanted to write, oh, I don't want G sharp, you know, I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put an A flat. If you put an A flat here, then you went up, you know, your half step after that to uh, A, you say, oh, I got it right, I put an A flat, it's the enharmonic. Well. The thing is, whenever we start on a note, on a sharp or a flat, everything in the key needs to be sharp or flat, okay? So if I have F sharp right here, I know that all of the other alterations that I'm gonna make to sharps or flats are going to also be sharps. If we look at this also, we have E, F, A flat, A, B, C, D, E. And so right now, if I have this as A flat, A, I have two A flats and there's no G represented. So that's what I mean by you have to have every single letter name represented in your scale. Okay, so let's go back to this. G sharp, A, okay, we're going to go a whole step up from A is B, whole step up from B is C sharp, whole step up from C sharp is D sharp, not E flat, D sharp. And we have D again. So there are one, two, three, four sharps in the key of E. Okay, let's do one more example, and then uh, you guys can do this on your own uh, with the handout. All right, <clears throat> let's do a let's do a hard one here. We're going to do the key of B here. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and write out my letters: B, C, D, E, F. G, uh, A, and then B again. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. All right, so we've got whole step up from B is C sharp. Whole step up from C sharp is D sharp. Half step up from D sharp is E, very good. Whole step up from E is F sharp. Whole step up from F sharp is G sharp. Whole step up from G sharp is A sharp, and a half step up from A sharp is B. So hopefully that, that gets, so there's five sharps in the key of B. 
Okay, and actually let me do one more. Go ahead and clean all this up here. Let me do one more in a flat key. Okay, so we're just gonna start here. Um, let's do the key of B flat. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and or one. B flat is my first. I know that it's gonna be B flat, my eight again, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write out my letter names here. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, just like that, okay? Now, I know that I've, I've already started with the B flat, so, and if I come up with, you know, a black note, I'm gonna have to refer to the, the flatted version of it, you know? So if I, like right here where, it, this isn't the key of A sharp, this is the key of B flat, okay? So let's just go here. We got a whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half, whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole uh, half. All right, so let's start. Half, a whole step up from B flat is C, okay? No alternation. Whole step up from C is D, very good. A half step up from E, or D is, not D sharp, E flat, okay? Whole step up from E flat is F, whole step up from F is G, whole step up from G is A, and a half step up from A is B flat, we're already there. So in the key of B flat, there are two flats, B flat and E flat. So hopefully that, that kind of gives you a good basis from where to start. And uh, <clears throat> this is the, the, the major scale formula is extremely important. For you to understand it is uh, something that, that all of the, the basis of contemporary music theory is based on understanding major scales so you have to be fluent with your major scales so think of it as learning a language you know you're gonna start off and yeah you're going whole whole half whole whole, whole half but eventually as we go through this course we're gonna especially when we get to the circle of fifths uh, episode we're gonna really start to understand what it means uh, we're, we're going to have these memorized very, very easily where we go, okay, the key of D has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. You know, it's just going to, you're not even going to have to think about it too much. Once that happens, the ability to communicate with other musicians increases exponentially. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, again, this is Ken Schwassel. If you like this video, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, please download the, the homework on this. And... Uh, uh, and, and do the homework because it'll really help you out just kind of going through this process a bunch of times. Uh, and uh, also stay tuned for, there should be at least 11 more episodes of this. So hopefully it's helpful to you. And uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing.